So hi, in this video I'll show you how to create your own custom logo because I've seen a lot of videos uh, of people finding in Windows X, uh, finding machines that are from McDonald's and from, you know, whatever. And uh, most of them have like, you know, McDonald's logo in here and uh, some kind of custom information in here. So I'm going to show you how this thing was made, which I find it kind of cool because I used to customize back in the day every computer that I actually worked on because it's kind of cool. So let me first of all show you what you'll need to do. You'll need to start Notepad and this is I think under accessories and we'll have to start paint as well. I'm not quite sure even if I can actually resize image in paint. Can I resize? Flip rotate. Yeah you cannot actually resize it. Oh wow. Well, this thing will be an adventure so the image has to be 120 times okay this thing will be awesome 120 times 120 okay okay i think it can be small oh, no way this was a perfect resize okay so first of all let me draw a logo in here and of course and let's use this thing as well because, <laughs> because uh, yeah it needs to be done uh, professionally so we have to have like a square in here so this is my new logo okay let's make a radiation sign okay this is idiotic <laughs> anyway this is the logo so what we'll be doing is saving it as OM logo and it has to be a bitmap so OM logo and basically this is I think that this is the uh, most of the work done so this is our new logo and we have to have like um, basically two things so just a second this thing and this thing and this thing will be general and this thing will be support information And in general, we have to have like manufacturer and we have to have a model. So manufacturer will be me, Vlad, and model will be performance series. Series XP. And basically that's it. Uh, we have to have uh, two or three or four lines, whatever. And basically let's say equals um, and the procedure in Windows 7 is a bit different but it is also uh, so customer support uh, and let's say number three eight five nine one one two three four five six seven okay this is a bit ugly let's make this thing a bit better oh sorry this is a virtual machine, so uh, yeah. Okay, what am I doing now? Yeah, okay, so we need a plus in here and we need a minus as well in here. Okay, so the keyboard is obviously not website. So let's add it to website, i minus vlad.com. I think that the keyboard might be in English. And support hours. So let's say nine uh, Monday to Friday and uh, 9 a.m. Let's say to 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Uh, p.m. And we'll need to save this thing as ominfo.ini. I have no idea what this thing is, but there you have it. ominfo.ini. And now if we go to right click my computer and for some reason that's not working okay we don't have anything but if we copy this thing and it's kind of cool because you do not need to have logo and i think uh, this thing work uh, as i said it works under windows 7 and i don't think that it works under windows 10 maybe even under windows 8 so if you copy this thing to windows system 32 and right click properties we should have support information and basically uh, that, that's the support information that you actually f that that you saw on well, every other video on YouTube basically you can create logo and now if I right click 
there you have it and you can because I, i've seen like a video that uh, that was like a mcdonald's or something like that but anyway that's how they did it if you like this video uh, please click thumbs up if you did not you know what to do if you have any suggestion i, I mean leave them down below as always all suggestions uh, sorry it's like 10 uh, pm and i'm already done I've, I've been installing some servers and whatnot and i'm just over anyway thumbs up comments whatever and until the next time i hope you like this video this is kind of cool